we knew we were getting a boatload of rain, so we prepared the plant like we normally do, adjusting and uh, modifying things and getting ready for heavy rain, but we weren't expecting this at all. It wasn't even a hurricane or anything. That's what's the scary part. It was just a regular thunderstorm. Right about here is where the water was. And then Irene was up here. And this one was 10 times worse. It came by a lot faster than Irene did. It was pretty overwhelming, but you just have to keep a cool head and think of your next move, write everything down. If I had my way, I would have them build a triangular wall right in front of the entire plant because the water's gonna come this way Every time, we know the water's gonna go that way. And simple insurance, that would definitely prevent all this from happening, no doubt about it, unless the wall failed. There is a limit to how much hard infrastructure can get us out of this trouble. I'm sure some cities are going to continue doing that, finding hard ways, levees and, and you know, breach walls to make sure that there is separation between critical infrastructure and local rivers. But at the same time, some evacuation of the floodplains is going to be essential uh, or channeling the rivers away from critical facilities, especially in places where you need them, you know, a wastewater treatment plant, a, a critical emergency center, a hospital or something. This is going to be an enduring challenge for our communities. How do we protect ourselves and make sure people can survive, live, thrive, and feel happy about being in that community?